I'm going to demo how to do a sine graph. We're going to do some trig graphs. So we're going to go y equals sine of x. And what we get is this curve here. Now, what I'm going to do is change it to degrees because it makes it easier for us just to get our heads around it while we're learning. So I'm going to change it to degrees. And notice the scales are wonky and we need to make it from 360 degrees down to negative 360 degrees. So we actually should see two cycles. And if I just click out of that, you notice that 90 is there and 180 there. And so it scales, the step is wrong, okay, or what we call the... Um, um, the x things, I don't know what you want to call it, steps, and we'll make it, the step is 90, okay, and we're still in degrees, and let's go back to this one, now we've got it looking lovely, so 0, 9, um, 90, 180, 270, 360, and it goes up as far as 1 is near right, let's change those scales as well, so let's make the y axis, we'll go in steps of 1, okay, and that should be pretty much right for us, so it goes up in steps of 1, awesome, so what we're going to do is look at, um, we're going to investigate the amplitude of the curve and what we're going to do is going to try another curve you notice this is red and so this is a red curve this one here is blue so it should be a blue curve so what happens if I put y equals and we make it 2 sine of x oh well what's happened is that it's grown by 2 and it's dropped down by 2 so the maximum and minimums are changing okay and it's what we call the amplitude is changing so the amplitude's gone up by 2 from the center so the amplitude is measured from the center line to the top in the center line to the bottom okay so the amplitude here it's two and two is written in there let's just um, try another one so let's try this one here and let's try and make it a different color can we make it a different color don't know about that so we go y equals and make it five sine of x yeah okay so you can see that it's grown up by five and down by five okay what happens if we make a negative in front of that okay so let's just turn this one off okay and let's put a negative in front of that Oh, it's just flipped it over. So let's do that again, and let's just rewrite it underneath. So let's try y equals negative 5 sine of x. Okay, so what we have is we'll just turn this one off as well. So this is the green one, which is 5 sine of x, and the blue one is negative 5 sine of x. And you notice it's the mirror image. So when, you have an, when the amplitude or the value in here the negative value it takes the original curve which for a sine curve goes up before it goes down it will go down before it comes up if you're studying at the origin so the negative will flip it over and the um the number in front will give you the amplitude of the curve that means the height from the maximum to the minimum is 10. okay so let's try and do this so we don't have to keep typing things and hopefully you've got that let's just be a little bit smart here so let's get rid of these things and let's put a variable in front of them okay so let's turn them back on and let's put a variable in front of it. Let's call it A. Now we can use a big A or a little A. And what we're going to do is we're going to make a slider. This is where um, decimals is rather cool. You can see here A is 1. Now if I just drag that, then A gets bigger. Over here, notice that A gets bigger. Just drag it up a bit further. And A gets bigger. And we can drag it all the way up to 10. And that will be right off my graph. Let's just try it. Okay, you can see it getting bigger. And let's stop at 4. And you see the amplitude is 4. Okay. So what happens if we go back to zero? Well, at zero, there's nothing. So there's no amplitude, there's no graph, but a straight line. So let's keep going this way, and let's go negative. These are the ones that are negative. So if you want to move it up and down through there, you can, and have a play with that. 